Now, when the people heard the preaching of Peter after the day of Pentecost, they heard and they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, I'm reading from Acts chapter 2, verse 37. They said, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Uh, verse 38 says, Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Now, we also read in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. The first ever message that Jesus declared publicly is this. Matthew 4 17. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Now, you believe in Jesus. That's the condition for you to be saved. But yet, repentance is the first step unto salvation. I repeat, repentance is the first step unto salvation. What is the meaning of repent? Repentance. Well, there is a wise man who said like this, repentance is the decision to turn from wrong action attitudes or word to those approved of god that means to say you turn from your wrong action your wrong attitudes and thinking and the way you speak turn to the one that is approved of god action attitude and words that is approved by god if you want to come to Christ and confess Him as the Savior and the King in your life, the condition is you must repent. And this repentance involves repentance of your attitudes, your mind, the way you are thinking. You have to change it. And then your action, your impulse, that make you act and do something you must turn from all your wrong action and then your words your vocabulary the way you speak to the people your speech must be in accordance to the will and desire and the thing that is approved by god you have to repent from all this sin and then turn to jesus and say, Savior, I repent from my act, from my thinking, from my words, and I return to you. Save me, O Lord. I believe that through your blood, remission of sin is done. And I give my heart, my spirit, soul, and mind unto you today as my Savior and Lord and King. Come to the king. Receive the king and his kingdom. That is the initial step of being born again. The Holy Spirit will begin to change your heart, your mind, and fill it with a new life of God. It is wonderful. And a new beginning, a new change, reformation once you have repented from your sin i'm not talking about regretting regretting is when you are caught in, in an act and then once you are free from it then you do the same thing that is not repentance repentance is to turn away and turn to god turn away from your wrong doings your attitudes and the way you speak and then we get to turn to God to the things that being approved by God the way we speak the way we act and the way we think righteous and holy as unto God 
you cannot do it until you come out from that environment that you have been cultured and nurtured you have to change the mindset and the best way to do it is by beginning to read the scripture the gospel and the teaching of christ may the holy spirit help you